इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव कट आई एम एक्सपर्ट इन सर्जिकल एनर्जी आई एम ऑल्सो डायरेक्टर ऑफ प्रेशियस लाइफ मेडिकल टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वी आर मार्केटिंग पार्टनर्स फॉर कॉड्रा इंस्ट्रोडक्शन फॉर द लास्ट 11 इयर्स एंड वी आर प्राउड ऑफ आवर एसोसिएशन विद कॉड्रा हु हैज द बेस्ट इन क्लास मेडिकल सर्जिकल प्रोडक्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द वेरियस फीचर्स ऑफ एप्सिलॉन 400 V1 द एक्सेसरीज and useful tips for operating it so let's get started this is quadra's surgical dithermy epsilon 400 v1 it's a premium dithermy which has got advanced features for monopolar as well as bipolar let's understand the front panel of the main unit which has got various settings and sockets settings are for changing values and sockets are for connecting different accessories On the left side, you have patient plate fault and HF leakage fault, and then you have program which are different memories that you can show different settings. In monopolar cut, you have low cut, blind cut, and pure cut, and you can change the ports or increase the current power. In monopolar coagulation, you have desiccate, fulgurate, and spray modes. You can change these modes or you can increase or decrease power. In bipolar coagulation, you have precise, standard, and macro modes. and you can increase or decrease power using these buttons here on the team modes here you have power button for switching on the main unit the next comes socket for the patient plate it's recommended to use split patient plate either disposable or reusable then you have monopolar socket three pin is for monopolar pencil and single pin is for laparoscopic or urological procedures and then you have bipolar socket On the back side of the machine, you have socket for the foot switch, and uh, with Epsilon 400 V1, what you get is a three-pedal foot switch. It's a single foot switch with three pedals. And the next you have on the back side are there is a equipotential, which is the ground, and then you have volume control, which has got level one to level five. You also have a socket for the power cord and fuse, so that you don't have to open the machine if you want to replace the fuse. Our cord is connected to the machine like this. And the other side goes into your power socket. And then you switch on the machine by using power button on the front panel. For all the three windows, the mode selected is indicated by the led which is glowing in front of the name you can increase or decrease the program number by using these buttons and 0 to 9 have monopolar bipolar regular and program b is for bipolar cut e is for end of cut so these are the two special modes that you get along with epsilon 400 v1 you can also decrease program number by using down button in front of the program you can change the modes for monopolar cut increase power or decrease power using the buttons given in the monopolar cut window and same is the case for the monopolar coagulation and bipolar coagulation window the maximum setting for pure cut is 400 watts As I mentioned earlier, you can change the mode in monopolar coagulation mode using this toggle button, or increase the power. And for monopolar coagulation, the maximum power is 120 watt, or decrease power. And similarly, you can change the modes of bipolar coagulation, and also increase or decrease power using these buttons. The maximum setting for bipolar coagulation is 120 watts. So what we provide along with the machine is a silicon split patient plate that you see on the right side and one end of the cable goes into the machine and the other end which has got two pins get connected to the patient plate like this This is a reusable patient plate and you would have seen the blinking of the patient plate falls on the machine earlier now that blinking is gone if there is not enough contact between the patient and the patient plate the blinking will be there and 
and if the contact is enough, the blinking will go off. So this is a safety feature to avoid patient blade marks. The foot switch is connected on the back side of the machine. We need to fit it properly and press it once again and again uh, tighten it to ensure proper contact. If you try to activate monopolar power using foot switch, then you will get only alarm and there is no output. But if you activate bipolar, then you will get activation because for bipolar patient plate is not required. Please note that there is not sufficient contact between patient and the patient plate right now and that's why monopolar delivery is not done. But if the contact is sufficient like now, then you can see the activation indicator as well as there will be audio sound which indicates that the output is getting delivered. Same is the case for monopolar coagulation as well. And anyway, for bipolar, it does not matter whether the patient plate contact is enough or not, and it will deliver output irrespective of that. Monopolar hand pencil, the disposable one which we provide with the machine looks like this, and it is inserted into monopolar socket like this. And activation rules are same for hand pencil as well as foot switch. If the contact is not sufficient, you will not get activation sound, but you will get an alarm. But if the contact is sufficient and the blinking of patient plate fault is gone, then you can see that the output is getting activated. Both for monopolar coagulation as well as monopolar cut. Let's see some of the accessories a little more closely. This is a power cord. The left side go inside the machine and the right side go onto the power plug. This is a three pedal foot switch. Please have a look at the connector a little more closely. You can see the notch on right bottom side. While fitting into inside the machine, please observe this notch and fit it properly in the right way. The foot switch has three pedals. Yellow is typically for monopolar cut. Next blue is for typically for monopolar coagulation. And the third is for bipolar coagulation. Please note that all the three pedals correspond to three different windows that you see on the settings of the machine. And they are in the exact same sequence that you have the windows on the machine. This is a silicon split patient plate. It has got two conductive parts separated by a non-conductive material. And an intelligent diathermy can understand using split patient plate if the contact is sufficient or not. These two spaces where the pins of the connector will go inside. And this is the patient plate cable. These two pins on the left side will go inside the patient plate and the right side will go inside the machine. This is how disposable hand pencil looks like and you have electrode set on top of that. And finally bipolar forcep along with its cable. These two pins that you see on the top go inside the machine in bipolar socket. At any time in the future if you need any support, please feel free to contact me. My contact details are there on the screen. I look forward to our association.